I'd expect that in most mid to late game create worlds, you would have a flywheel furnace engine. And I've seen online a lot of people using a furnace instead of the blast furnace. Uh, it generates 16,384. If we put in a blast furnace, it will generate double. And the main reason why they're generating half as much stress unit is because the blast furnace is a stupid block that only requires, uh, will only smelt uh, an ore. And in, in uh, I mean, this is with mods here, um, other mods, but just in normal create, the only renewable way I can think of um, that's, that's particularly easy and not a waste of resource would be to, where is it? Ah, would be to smelt down some armor that you might get from a mob farm. But you would need a giant amount because see how fast this thing smelts. If I get the chest plate, put it in. Okay, it's a, it's a fast smelter, so you really do need a lot um, for it. So it's, it's, it, it, it's a massive problem. Um, and so you generally see, oh, Let's just use a furnace or put two of these down. Uh, but there's a fix, you see, because how a, a, a furnace operates is that once it's smelting, it will keep running. That's, that's, that's where it gets its uh, power from. So if you can put something in like this, it will start smelting it. And if you can take it out again, then it resets it and you actually end up not consuming your resource there. And so you can use this to get your double thing here. I just have a simple system. We have a creative generator, which you can put your own or connect it to this. And I have, let's say this would come from your charcoal farm or kelp farm, inputting into here. Essentially how it functions is you'll see in here, it, it will get sucked in and out by this chute here, uh, which has this fan. And so what happens is it's in there, it gets sucked up. Then we have a content observer, which just detects iron. And so when the iron goes in there, um, I have an adjustable repeater of t on two seconds uh, because otherwise when we put it into the gear shift to change the direction so that the fan pushes it down instead of sucking it up, um, it will not break because I think if I take away this two second delay, that it will go f too fast and break. There we go. That made me jump. Uh, so where's the belt here's the belt lovely so you want ideally uh, I think two seconds is good if you do it too long then it will actually end up smelting things and you do want to be careful here uh, also you have to put in 16 uh, because that's the max they shoot can hold uh, but you want to be careful here because if it gets partially unloaded you can have issues where it does end up smelting things. You can also have issues where uh, it just infinitely generates power. Um, I don't know how that's triggered, but just one of them is just making power without actually having anything in the furnace. It's, it's weird, uh, but, but this this is obviously expandable. This design uh, you could you can put them side by side. In fact, you can you know with expanding you don't even need more content observers because you can get them on the same sort of cycle of inputting and outputting this is just like an alternative to a timer that switches the direction uh, so how would I expand I'd probably just line these up maybe with two blocks apart and yeah you can do the same mechanism and just get this uh, this red zone signal across to uh, change the the next gear shift there so yeah you have the, the delay it works there I have this just to to turn uh, that up there and you need to make sure that the that when there's no in terms of like rotation what's powering this part you need to make sure that when it's in here it wants to suck when it gets detected it changes it so that it wants to push it back down so I hope you found this useful um, it, it, it's haven't seen it yet, but uh, yeah, it's nice.